Before we start please subscribe to my channel and click the like button and hit the notification bell for more video updates. The chemical compounds of living things are known as organic compounds because of their association with organisms and because they are carbon containing compounds. Let us take a look at the pictures flashed on your screen. Which are considered organic, which are not. Do you have a clue? All the objects are considered organic except the rocks and the house. To a chemist, the term organic describes chemical compounds that contains carbon and other elements such as hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, or phosphorus. For example, sugar was identified as organic. The chemical formula for sugar is C6H12O6. The compound contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Sugar is processed from sugar cane, a plant. All living organisms contain carbon-based compounds, making them organic. At the grocery store, the term organic describes food raised under specific conditions. For example, beef labeled organic is from cows that were not given antibiotics, growth hormones, or fed animal byproduct. All the organisms pictured are alive and composed of organic compounds. As shown below, two columns are divided, one is for organic compounds and the other is for inorganic compounds. What do you notice about all the compounds that are classified as examples of organic compounds? Based on the table, carbon is always present, and that hydrogen and oxygen are and sometimes other elements such as nitrogen, sulfur or phosphorus were commonly found in organic compounds. Our bodies are composed mostly of water, and it is necessary for us to survive. However, water is an example of inorganic compound because it does not contain carbon and it was not formed by a living organism. Carbon dioxide is another example of inorganic compound because it does not contain both carbon and hydrogen. One molecule of carbon contains one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. There are a total of three atoms in one molecule of carbon dioxide. We know that organic compounds are called organic because they are associated with living organisms. These molecules form the basis of life and are studied in detail in the chemistry disciplines of organic chemistry and biochemistry. The term organic compound was coined by John Jacob Berzelius in 1807. Four types of organic compounds. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. Carbohydrates are organic compounds made of the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms in carbohydrates molecules is 2 is to 1. Carbohydrates acts as main source of energy and used by plants and animals for structural purposes. Carbohydrates are classified according to subunits. Simple carbohydrates are called sugars. 1. Monosaccharides A sugar is made of one unit examples are glucose, fructose, galactose. 2. Disaccharides A sugar made of two units joined together. 3. Polysaccharides A long chain of monosaccharides joined together examples are starch, glycogen, cellulose. Lipids Lipids are made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Lipids have higher hydrogen to oxygen ratio than is found in carbohydrates. Lipids are used for energy storage to build structures and as signal molecules to help cells communicate with each other. Major group of lipids A. Triglycerides, fats, oils, waxes. B. Steroids. C. Phospholipids. Certain fatty acids have one or more double bonds in their molecules. Fats that include these molecules are unsaturated fats. Other fatty acids have no double bonds. Fats that include these fatty acids are saturated fats. Fats stored in cells usually forms clear oil droplets called globules. Proteins Proteins consist of chains of amino acids called peptides. A protein may be made from a single polypeptide chain or may have more complex structure where polypeptide subunits pack together to form a unit. Proteins consist of hydrogen, oxygen, carbon and nitrogen atoms. Some proteins contain other atoms such as sulfur, phosphorus, iron, copper or magnesium. Proteins serve many functions in cells. 
they use to build structure, catalyze biochemical reactions for immune response, the package and transport materials and to help replicate the genetic materials. Examples of proteins. Hemoglobin in blood, keratin, collagen, myoglobin, insulin, fibrin, nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are the molecules in our cells that direct and store information for reproduction and cellular growth. There are two types of nucleic acids. Ribonucleic acid RNA and deoxyribonucleic acid DNA. Both nucleic acids are unbranched organic polymer composed of monomer units called nucleotides. These nucleotides are composed of a sugar molecules, a nitrogen base, and phosphoric acid. A single DNA molecules may contain several million of these nucleotides, while RNA molecules may contain several thousand. DNA carries the genetic information for the cell. Sections of a DNA molecules called genes contains the information to make a protein. DNA serves two main functions. Molecules can produce other DNA molecules and RNA molecules. RNA molecules are directly responsible for the synthesis of proteins. Let's do the activities in this lesson. Learning Task 1. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Organisms use plant as energy sources, structural units and for other purposes and are the largest class of organic compounds found in organisms. Answer, A. Carbohydrates. Plant are the molecules in our cells that direct and store information for reproduction and cellular growth. Answer, B. Nucleic acids. Plant are used for energy storage, to build structures and as signal molecules to help cells communicate with each other. Answer, B. Lipids. They are used to build structure, catalyze biochemical reactions, for immune response, the package and transport materials and to help replicate genetic materials. Answer, Proteins. Learning Task 2. Write in the space provided if the given examples or statements are classified as carbohydrates, lipid, protein, or nucleic acid. Learning Task 3. Draw three examples of lipids found at home. The pictures presented are just example you can draw your own examples found in your home. That ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video updates.